Robin Williams' suicide is also raising awareness about depression and how to deal with it before it gets too late. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin spoke with a man who knows the symptoms all too well. Yeah, I did, Danita. The person I spoke with says Robin Williams' death will help us turn up the volume when it comes to talking about depression. Although Williams is known as the comedic funny man, he says talking about depression is no laughing matter. The devastating and untimely death of Robin Williams has sent a shockwave across this country. The Academy Award winning actor and legendary comedian was found dead at his home in Northern California. It's hard to believe for many people that somebody like Robin Williams would be depressed. You might remember former News Channel 5 reporter Jack Marshall as a gifted storyteller who knew how to tell the big story. And as in his nature, Marshall once again goes after the big story, but this one is on himself. And how, like Robin Williams, he too has had to deal with depression. I, I wanted to hide the fact that I was going through depression, that I was suffering from depression. I hurt so bad, and yet I tried to put on that mask that made it look like I was feeling and acting okay. Marshall wrote a book about depression called Shades of Grey. He hopes the death of Williams will get people talking and get them to deal with the issue quicker. You can't wait. It, it could save your own life, and a lot of times we think, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it the next day. I'm working this week. We're going on vacation with the kids. I don't have time. You have to make time. It's the silent killer screaming to be heard. Marshall reads a Facebook post he wrote talking about Williams and depression. Although he didn't take his life like the Hollywood actor did, he says at one point in his life, he hoped someone else would. I was hoping maybe I would die in a car crash. I was hoping maybe somebody would, would rob me and shoot me and kill me. And yet, when I think back to those thoughts that I had at that time, it makes me very sad. And today it makes me very thankful that I'm here and I'm able to, to ver verbalize it and talk to people and say, I, I made it. I got my life back. Marshall says oftentimes if you lose your appetite, lose sleep, not feeling like yourself, this could be signs of depression and to seek help. And he encourages friends to be nosy and don't judge, just offer help. We'll have it on your side. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.